Hi. Today, our story is about Moses and the Israelites, and it's called Manna from Heaven. As the Israelites set out from Egypt, Moses was leading them to the Sinai Desert. Remember, deserts are hot, dry, sandy. They didn't have any food or water. And they complained to Moses and Aaron because they were hungry. The Lord told Moses, I'm going to make bread rain down from the sky. Each day, the people can go out and gather just what they need for that day. And I'm doing this to test to see whether they follow my instructions. On the sixth day of the week, they'll gather twice as much as the other days. Now, did you hear what the Lord said? He said he was going to make bread rain down from the sky. Bread. I don't know about you, but I have never seen bread rain down from the sky. But I'm pretty sure that God can make that happen. Moses and Aaron told the Israelites, Tonight you will see it was the Lord who saved you from Egypt. The Lord will give you meat in the evening and all the bread that you need in the morning. So after Moses and Aaron spoke, the Israelites turned and they looked back towards the desert and they saw the Lord's presence in a cloud. Well, that evening, a flock of quail flew down and covered the camp. Quail are birds. So now they had their meat to eat in the evening, just like the Lord had said. And in the morning, there was a thin layer of flakes, kind of like frost covering the ground. Now, they were in the deserts where it's hot, so they wouldn't have had frost. So they walked out. The Israelites asked each other, what is that? And Moses said, this is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. The Lord says to collect as much as each person in your household can eat today, but don't keep any of it till this morning. So they went out and collected what they thought that they would need for the day. Now, some people didn't listen to Moses, and some of them took extra food, and they tried to save it until the morning. But at nighttime, the bread became rotten, and it filled with worms. They couldn't eat it. Moses was very angry with the people that hadn't listened. But each day, when the sun grew hot, the flakes would melt away. On the sixth day, everyone was allowed to collect double the normal amount of food. Moses said, the Lord wants you to rest tomorrow on the Holy Sabbath. So bake and boil the food that you want to eat today and save the leftovers for tomorrow so that you can rest on the Sabbath. Well, so the people did what Moses commanded and the bread did not rot. And Moses told them to eat it on the Sabbath. Now, on the Sabbath, some of the people tried to go out and gather more bread, but there wasn't any because, remember, the Lord wanted them to rest. The Israelites called the bread manna, which means, what is it? And it tasted kind of like honey wafers. They took one serving of manna and put it in a jar so that future generations would see how the Lord fed them in the desert. The Israelites ate manna for 40 years while they were in the wilderness. Forty years, the Lord took care of them and kept them safe.